cafe anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. F F is episode 811. Hello, it is Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, somewhere here in Pod Castro Valley at the last place on earth. You know, today it's a wonderful new fun-filled, much-loved segment, you know, as into an interview where I'll be speaking to the wonderful band called Mike's Daily Podcast. Dark Ocean Colors, plus we hear from Shelley Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. I'm bald. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, living in California has a couple downsides for one. There's only so much you can buy because the prices in this abundant state are conspicuously high. You would think they would give us a break because every day we nearly die on the roads because of the nuts who drive Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, and here in the Bay Area, you get stink guy for trying to use your American Express card Mike's or any credit card Daily for that matter. Podcast. When I lived in Alabama, yeah. they took Amex everywhere, no matter how shoddy the business looked. Yes, I like shopping shoddy. Why Amex? They gave me awesome points to use on travel hotels and such. Here in the Bay Area, a lot of places, they don't even take Visa. Or they do, but you have to spend over 10 bucks. No. I will not play your stupid game. If you're a business in the Bay Area and you charge outrageous prices already, you better take my damn card or I'm walking. Anyway, I stock up on Costco stuff and live off of that for a month. Invest in a good fridge is my tip to you. Oh, and speaking of credit cards, I just found out today, I got a little email from Walmart saying, Hey, your laptop is being shipped to a completely different address that you've never heard of. Not one your own. I'm like, what? What's going on? I have a Walmart account? What? And then I remembered I did have a Walmart account. I looked, I went into it and I saw, yeah, somebody used a fake credit card in my name to charge something to some address somewhere in Los Angeles. I did the simple, called up Walmart, told them what's going on. They're like, we're sending our police, or we're putting our police, our best man, or woman, on the case. I'm like, great. So that's taken care of. But gosh, and then I did a uh, Bing search, because I've been using Bing a lot lately, because Bing gives you rewards every time you search something. And if you get enough points, you can, like, buy stuff. I don't know. I haven't actually bought anything yet. I'm just making points. We'll see what happens. But, yeah. They apparently, they went to... Uh, the, well, I went to... to I searched their the address. Went to the actual street where apparently this play, this laptop was going to go to. And it was, a ni- it was a nice condominium complex somewhere in L.A. Right next to a freeway. I'm like, Wow. How nice. So, yeah, that's the world we live in. Credit cards that you can't use, and then people using credit cards you don't have to buy things that you don't get. And then, this happens. A door opens. Hello, my brother. Shelling. You heard the chef supervisor. I'm still thinking about that story you told about what happened to you recently when you were at that park. Oh, yeah, I was at that park. And I was trying to talk to my mom on the phone, and this guy showed up, and he was with his dogs, and his dogs, he had his dogs off leash, and they came over, and they were, like, playing with Basil, and at first they were kind of, like, attacking him, but Basil drove him off, and, yeah, it was was strange and scary, and, uh, yeah. Her name is Rio, and she dances on the sun. Mike Matthews? What's that song? Duran Duran. I don't understand what you're saying. Duran Duran, this group. Uh Uh-huh. And I'm really young and I don't know. Yeah, I believe that. You were like trying to enjoy the day in Northern California in the Bay Area. You can rhyme too. It's fun. I do it all the time. Area. What? Nothing. I don't understand. The guy is older than me. Okay, he should have known better. 
Okay. I don't know why. Okay. He had to, he was like trying to teach his dogs how to be around my dog or something and I'm on the phone. Whenever I've seen people on the phone and they have a dog, I stay the heck away from them. First off, I know that anyone on on a phone is distracted. That's why I don't like to be around people driving and they got their phone and they're driving cuz they don't know what they're doing. They shouldn't be on the phone first off. There's a law here in California about that. But the police never cracked down on that Like they never cracked down on anyone going through a red light That's why they got Cameras up But actually they don't have cameras up There's like only a few places But that actually served me well Because I accidentally went through a red light the other day My Matthew Yeah it was by accident I was sitting there and I saw across The intersection a Popeye's Chicken place This is in Half Moon Bay and I said to myself, I'm really hungry. It's Tuesday. I know they got that special deal that like for two bucks you get like two pieces of chicken. And all I could think of was chicken. And then I saw cars start to move through the intersection uh, going my direction. So I'm like, oh, it must be green. And no, it was only the left turn people. And so I went, I'm like, oh, shoot. And I zip right through the red light. And luckily there were no cops there. Which is amazing because usually Murphy's Law or Mikey's Law, in my case, I always get a ticket. I'm like the only person that ever gets caught doing these things. Like I was the only person ever, apparently, in the Bay Area to get a ticket for having his dog off leash. Even though there was a sign that said dogs could be off leash. And I've told this story a zillion times. But yeah, that happened and I had to pay 300 bucks. Someday I'm going to appeal. Which is interesting because the job that I have now in Fremont is very close to where you can appeal for uh, court decisions such as this. And I could technically do it and pay basically nothing because I'm already down there. I'm already like just a block away from where you can appeal for this sort of thing. But I'll keep you posted on that. Mike Matthews, what were you talking about? Uh, Shelly, I was talking about (sighs) chicken. Yes, that's right, Mike, Mike, Mike Matthews. Oh, that's interesting, too, what happened at that chicken place. I walked in, and uh, the two young ladies there that are running the place, they usually have young people running Popeye's chickens. They're all, like, distracted. I, I, something, like, weird just happened, apparently, before I walked in. I found out later, a guy just passed a bunch of counterfeit money to them and they just discovered right before I walked in that they had in fact accepted counterfeit money that was completely um, unusable so I think one of them might have even been a hundred dollar bill oh wow Mike Matthews that's like an amazing story uh huh thank you Shelly you're so kind I know look who else just walked in oh my it's Floyd the Floorman and this is John Deere, the engineer, Mike. Tell us more about the strange Zodiac experience that you had. Yeah, and not to make light of the Zodiac thing, the, the most horrific murders that took place in the Bay Area. And it happened around people that were at parks in the Bay Area. So that's the only reason why I make that connection. But here, I'll drop it. Go see the movie to see how horrific it was uh, with uh, d- uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Mr buff dude he buffed out for his latest role it's amazing he'll probably get an Oscar for that I should buff out for this role of being on a podcast but you really don't have to because it's all audio la 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 and then what happened oh yeah and then the guy left it the dogs barking at Basil I yell at him uh, he he walks away. That's it. So if you you want to comment about any of that, you can go to mikesdailypodcast.com, the website there. There's all kinds of places to comment and links to where you can comment on Facebook and Twitter. We read your comments on the section, emails from email, and your common not-so-comments. The email is mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. Let me know if you want to sponsor the show or be on the show. If you want to help us out and become a Mike's Daily Podcaster, you can go to mikesdailypodcast.com. And you can uh, donate through the PayPal. It will send you a special MP3 for thee from all of 
the Cafe Anyway characters and the podcast players. There's also links to where to listen to the show in iTunes, rate the show, and comment on the show in iTunes. And if you do that, more people find out about us and we don't languish in obscurity. We're also on Podomatics, Podomatic, Podomat, mm. Podomatic. Sorry. Why don't you sound a lot like me? Because I'm floored the floor, man. No, I didn't. Uh, Potomatic. What? Psychedelic Roots Rock Band Moon Alice? Playing in Alamo? I like Alamo because there are really... If you're single and you're a guy, lots of single women in Alamo. And if you're old like me in, in your 40s, like me, lots of available 40-year-old women in Alamo. Don't know why I'm not in Alamo right at this moment, but might go to that Moon Alice thing. At any rate, where was I? Mike Matthew, you were like talking about all the things that you use that people can listen to the show on and stuff. And I'm not single, I'm dating the brewmaster. How's that going? He's great. I like my man, stupid. Like him, huh? He's kind of dumb. Yeah, my God, he's, he's pleasantly dumb. And I have become pleasantly dumb. And then there's also where you can listen to us on TuneIn, SoundCloud, Stitcher, MixCloud, Spreaker, Player FM, and Ameristream Live, which is a up-and-coming, struggling website that plays our show on it. Links to all of those, as well as where you can find us on Instagrams, the Yelps, and the Tumblers. Instagram cracker Finally uh, If you are doing any shopping on Amazon Which you might be doing Because they're really big And that Bezos guy Is taking over the world Hey I don't need no stinking Bezos No Alright that was not appropriate Sorry Um, If you would like to uh, help us out And not change the way you shop you just go through the link anytime you're going to buy anything on Amazon. Go through the website, mikesdailypodcast.com. It's right there on the left-hand side. Or if you're on your smartphone, we're down at the bottom of the page thing. The blog, the daily podcast picture, all that is at mikesdailypodcast.com. Into an interview. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're safe. And yeah. You're on fire. I'm safe and sound. And, and you're in Toledo, Ohio. Correct. How'd you know? I, I did a little bit of research. Ah. I did some research while I was waiting for them to install my car battery because my car battery died on my way here today. So, okay. So I it got I got to, to to you know do a little bit of research. Like I found out your name's Mark. Yep, and I did a little research in the email, so I know your name is Mike. Oh wow! You know, so I, I did my bit. I, you know, I wasn't slacking. <laughs> And so it's Mark Mickle? It's actually Michael. Michael. Okay. Yeah. I actually have a friend who spells his name Michael like that, the way you have that. It's, yeah, well, I mean, it's originally M-I-C-K-E-L for me, but I took out the silent C, so it looks less like Mickle. Oh, you know. yeah, because usually it's M-I-C-H-A-E-L, like my name, and and. Mickle is is a um, Michael, and that's wonderful. Yes, and the world is round and wonderful. <laughs> and and Scott Hunt, he's got a simple name. Yeah. And yes. and your band's name, Dark Ocean Colors. How did that name come about? Uh, how did that name come about? Um, I mean, we just really racked our brains. We were right here, a band. That, yeah, we were in this exact spot when we came up with the names. Yeah. Where, where, um, where are you? Oh, you can't see us. All right, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're in our studio. No, we record. Wait, now, is it like in one of your houses? No, it's in an office building that's not being used by my family's company, so I, I get to use this office building for studio. It's part of a warehouse. They use a warehouse, but they don't use this room. So. Oh, that's cool. You get a nice recording space and... Yeah. And that because you guys are so creative, and and you do a lot of recording and writing, 
and mm-hmm. it all takes place there. And and as did the name of your band. So do you remember the what the the eureka moment, the aha moment? Kind of. Are you? No, I don't. You guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> no I really don't. I know you. Well, I I, 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 probably, I probably will, but well, um, you remember everything better than I do. I've had I've had uh, you know an adult beverage. Oh. 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 Nice. Okay. <laughs> I got to open up. I'll be telling all the story. No, 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 I'll chime in. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I just remember, you know, there was a, uh, you know, we just started talking about words we liked, you know, words that had, you know, darkness to them and, you know, kind of an oceanic, oceanic feel to them and were colorful and we couldn't come up with any words that said those things, but we settled on those things and it sounded good. Yeah, yeah. They all got, it sounds like the name of a book, Dark Ocean <laughs> Colors or a poem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does. You know, I think we found out that after we did it, there's other groups out there called like, like Dark Ocean. Yeah, I and, think so. And maybe like Ocean Color or something or something else like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah the so. only thing I can think of is Deep Blue something that had breakfast at Tiffany's in the 90s. Yeah, I don't know. The, I don't think that was the one that we were thinking of. No, there's definitely a band called Dark Ocean. Yeah. Oh. And there's, 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 there's the Ocean Color something else. I think. Yeah. But I can't remember what the third word is. Well, I don't give a crap about those other bands because I love you the best. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard your song, uh, My Barbara Closed the Doors. Uh huh. And I loved it. I'm like, w- what? Who is this? Is a song? Somebody, rec- this is amazing. I really? love it. I mean, it, sound, it sounded that out of the ordinary to you? Yeah. It, well, and, in a pleasant sort of way. And, yeah, I know. Yeah. In an enjoyable way. And uh, what was like when you made the song? Was there like a specific inspiration? Yeah, I think, you know, it was, it was like more of a, you know, the first time we sang the line, it was like my barber closed the door at midnight or something like that. I was just we were trying to get a picture asking me, like, you know, writing a story, and the barber closed his doors at midnight. Like, who oh, wants to sing about the barber, you know? So I changed it to Barbara. <laughs> and then went from there. So. But I don't even think we had the words when we started recording the tune. No, we didn't. No? No. A lot of the songs we we did were actually just kind of like creations as we were recording. Really? Yeah. See, I don't know how how people do that. That seems like it would be more work than actually sitting down and writing a song. Because you're actually putting your nose to the grindstone, as it were. We do it both ways. We're always trying to find a way to create a song out of, you know, a different method, you know. There are songs where the first thing we recorded would be the backing vocal, you know, which you never start recording with the backing vocal. It's usually the last thing you put on. That's right. What, that, I've never heard of that, starting off with backing vocals. Yeah, and then it ends up being pretty much just an all-vocal song, really. But we did have instruments coming at the end. And, and we had instruments throughout on this song that we're talking about. Yeah, and we just took them out, maybe, right? right. Yeah. yeah. So do you do you have the uh, the first Dark Ocean Color album? I do. No, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad Mark has it. Because, yeah. Uh, actually, I have. I just have that one song. So I'm lacking in in the entire album thing. You I, are. Yeah. I, you don't have the album. No, no. It we'll have to get you something there. There's got to be somewhere to hear it. Woo! And you can give me a jump to iTunes. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Because I, know, I would love to hear the rest of it. I'm yearning to hear the rest of it. Especially because I like the song so much. My Barbara closed the okay, doors. Okay, so we're doing an interview pretty much based on our song, My Barbara. Sure. sure, but we could talk. Cool. We could talk like about that. another song from that no, album. Fine, I'm like, I'm just clarifying what you know. It's like, cause, yeah, I mean, we haven't come out with an album in a while. You know, it's like, so what, what were we going to talk about? You know, we, it's like, I'd love to talk about that song. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's talk. Well, you know what? Because there's not many songs that have the word Barbara in it, except for like uh, the Beach Boys, Barbara Ann, Barbara, yeah. Barbara, blah, blah, blah. And their name has to do with the beach, and yours has to do with the ocean. That's weird. Yeah, it's, it's getting creepy. What a quinkadink. So let's play the song, My Barber Closed the Doors, and, okay, cool. and we'll hear more. But it is the wonderful band, Dark Ocean Colors. It's Mark Michael and Scott Hunt from Toledo, Ohio, here on Mike's Daily Podcast.
Oh yeah, that was awesome. We're going to have part two of our Into an Interview on the next show as we walk outside of Cafe Anyway here in Podcastro Valley at the last place on earth. We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast. And here's today's podcast picture. And the picture is of the wonderful guest from our Into an Interview. See that picture now at Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. Mike Matthews, I just want to say that you can use a credit card in the gift shop whenever you want. I can I can buy things in the gift shop, which I probably already own because it is part of Cafe Anyway, which I own because it's part of Mike's Daily Podcast. You don't have to sound like such a jerk, Mike Matthews. I'm just being I'm just being uh I'm just being kind of a jerk. You're right. Yeah. Mike, I just want to say that I enjoy Mike's Daily Podcast. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. And John Deere, the engineer. Yes, I also enjoy the podcast. But Floyd the Floor Man and I shall never get married. What? Why not? I just, well, we don't believe in marriage. You don't? You don't believe in love forever, everlasting? Because he's your one true love forever? No. No, I don't. Move to the Bay Area and not be able to charge a darn thing. Because nobody accepts credit cards for anything under... So, Mike, why are you being such a jerk and buying things under $10 with your credit card? Well, I want to get the points. Maybe the credit card company shouldn't be such jerks and offer points for things that I buy. We're never going to get married. I don't want to get married, no! All right, I just changed my mind. Ah, love has that effect on people. Next show, it is part two of our Into an Interview. Tell every single one of your friends. More dark ocean colors music next show. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikestvpodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.